In this video, we will build this dashboard by using Google Gemini 2.5 and Google Sheets Apps Script. And the best part is that you don't need to have any coding or Google Sheets knowledge to do this. Because everything will be done by Google Gemini and I will explain the complete process step by step. So let's get started. Here is the Google Sheet and the dataset that we will be using for this tutorial. This dataset contains sales related information for two years, including customer names, product names, product categories, and sales locations like Arizona, New Jersey, Florida, and other states. After this, we have the amounts for sales, costs, expenses, and profit. And on the next tab of my browser, I have the prompts that we will be using in this tutorial. I will provide these prompts in the description of this video. First step is to analyze this data using Google Gemini and decide what information we should display on the dashboard, such as numbers, graphs, and charts. So I will open a new tab in my browser and I will go to deepmind.google slash technologies slash Gemini. Then click try in Google AI Studio. And here you can try Google's newly released Gemini 2.5 Pro version. Now let's go ahead and start executing our prompts one by one. So I will go to the prompts page and I will copy prompt number 1. Then go back to Google Gemini and paste the prompt here. Now go to the Google Sheet containing the dataset. Copy a sample of this data and paste this sample data in Google Gemini right after the existing prompt. Then click on the run button to execute this prompt. And Google Gemini will give you the idea to get started with building your dashboard. Alright, so Gemini has provided us the suggestions to design the dashboard. Let's scroll up and review this information. First of all, Google Gemini is suggesting us some important numbers that we should display on our dashboard. After that, it is telling us what type of charts and graphs we should create from our data. So based on these suggestions, I have prepared this draft layout for the dashboard. In the top section, we will show some important numbers and metrics. And in the middle and bottom sections, we will create charts and graphs to display key trends and business insights. Alright, now that the planning part is done, let's go ahead and start creating our dashboard. Let's go back to the prompts page and I will copy prompt number 2. Then go to Google Gemini again. Paste the prompt and click on the run button to send the prompt. And you can see that Gemini is analyzing our prompt in detail before writing the response. So I will fast forward this process until AI generates the complete output. Alright, so Gemini has provided us the Google Apps Script code for our dashboard. Let's scroll up and follow the instructions one by one. First step is to create a file named code.js and paste this backend code in that file. So I will scroll down and I will copy this backend code provided by Google Gemini. Now go to the Google Sheet that contains our dataset. Go to Extensions and click Apps Script to create a new Apps Script project. The code.js file is already created by default. So I will paste the code copied from Google Gemini in this file. Let's go back to Gemini 
and the next step is to create an HTML file named index.html for front end. So let's copy this HTML code, go back to the apps script project, click this plus sign and create a new HTML file. Name this file as index and paste the code copied from Google Gemini in this file. Then click here to save the project. Go to deploy, click new deployment. Make sure to choose web app as the deployment type. Write a short description and then click deploy. Once the project is deployed, you will get a link to access your app. So let's click on this link to view the dashboard. And there you go. The dashboard is created exactly as we described in the prompt. And now you can go ahead and customize this dashboard as you like. There are three methods that you can use to customize this dashboard. And I will show you all of these three methods one by one. First method is to go directly into the apps script project and edit the code to make the desired changes. This method is suitable if you have a basic coding knowledge. So let's try to remove this white background and increase the width of this profit by location chart. Go back to the apps script project and inside the index.html file, I will find the CSS code for the main background. Let's remove the background color of this main dashboard container. Now I will press Ctrl F and I will search for width in this code. And I think that these codes are related to the chart width. So I will change this flex 3 to flex 1 to increase the width of the chart. Then click here on the save icon to update your project. Go to deploy and click test deployment option because changes will only be reflected in the test environment. Now let's click this link to view the changes. And you can see that the background color is removed and the width of the chart is increased. Let's also adjust the heights of these charts to make them perfectly aligned. I will navigate to my apps script project again. Press Ctrl F and search for height in this code. And it looks like that these are the codes for individual charts where we can adjust the heights. So let me quickly adjust the heights for all of these charts one by one. After making the desired changes, update the project, go back to the dashboard and refresh the page. And you can see that now all of these charts are perfectly aligned. Alright, so the second method to customize this dashboard is to go to the chart library that you use to create the charts. I have used Apex Charts library for this tutorial. Now let's say that I want to add markers to this sales trend chart. So I will go to Google and search for Apex Charts. Go to the Apex Charts website and click on the Docs option to access the documentation for Apex Charts. Let's search for markers in this search box. And here is the sample code that I can use to add markers to my charts. So I will copy this sample code from here, go back to the apps script project, press Ctrl F and search for the sales trend chart code. Then paste the code copied from Apex chart website here in the existing code of sales trend chart and make the desired changes. After making the desired changes, 
Save the project again and refresh the dashboard page. So you can see that markers are now added to our sales trend chart. Alright, so the third and the final method is to use Google Gemini or Chat GPT. This method is best for the people like me who don't know how to code or have a very limited knowledge of code. Now let's say that I want to adjust these x-axis date labels for the sales trend chart. So I will go to my apps script project and I will search for the code of sales trend chart again. Then copy this entire piece of code and I will ask ChatGPT to change the format of x-axis labels in this code. Now the reason I am using ChatGPT is that I am building an accounting app. So I don't want to burn my Google Gemini tokens for these small changes. Alright, so ChatGPT has provided us the revised code for the sales trend chart. Let's copy that code, go back to the apps script, remove the existing code for the sales trend chart and paste the revised code provided by ChatGPT. Save the project again and refresh the dashboard page. And you can see that x-axis labels for the sales trend chart are changed according to our requirements. You can even ask ChatGPT to completely change the type of the chart. For example, let's try to change this profit by location chart from half donut to full donut chart. So let's go back to our apps script project again. Press Ctrl F and search for the code of profit by location chart. Let's copy that code. And I will ask ChatGPT to change this half donut chart to a full donut chart. Paste the code that you copied from apps script here in ChatGPT. Then click here to send the prompt. And ChatGPT will generate the revised code. Now copy the code provided by ChatGPT, go back to the apps script, delete the existing code and paste the updated code copied from ChatGPT. Then save the project and refresh the dashboard page again. So the profit by location chart is now changed to the full donor chart. And finally, let me quickly show you how to add data labels to the charts. Let's try to add data labels to the top 10 customers chart and profit by category chart. So I will go to my apps script project again, press Ctrl F and search for the code of profit by category chart. And if you notice that in this code, the data labels are set to false. So I will simply change this to true and I will also do the same thing with the top 10 customers chart. So you can see that data labels are added to both of these charts and so on. You can continue to customize this dashboard as you like. So I have made some more changes and this is the final dashboard that I was able to prepare. I will leave the prompts, the link to the Google Sheet and the complete code in the description of this video so you can download them and use them in your projects. And if you want to learn how to make an interactive dashboard in Excel by using ChatGPT, then check out this video on my channel.